Hello and welcome to this revisit video. This is Connolly's product of Ireland, strawberry. Now this was purchased at Aldi. I went to Aldi and they had two cases left. It was called the 12 Days of Irish Cream and it was $7.50 a case. And I thought, well that's not bad. You get 12 bottles, different flavors, 50 milliliter bottles, little sample bottles. Then I came home and realized they were 100 milliliter bottles. So they were less than a dollar a bottle. So um, it's a wine specialty, however. Aldi does not sell liquor in the United States. So these are, are made by Mary and Company of Ireland, who specializes in Irish cream liqueurs, but they also do wine based grape wine and grain neutral spirits. So they do have liquor in it with natural flavors and color with radish juice. <laughs> so it's a natural flavor, natural coloring from radish juice. Interesting, kind of crazy. 13.9% uh, alcohol. Now, if you buy the Mary and Company Irish cream liqueurs, they'll usually be about 17%. So you're losing about 3.1% alcohol by volume, being that it's wine-based. But at least you could buy it at Aldi, right? And I got it for so cheap. Imported by Bre Prestige Beverage Group of Minnesota and if you look at their website they only feature the Mary and Company Irish Creams and there is a strawberry version which is coming in at 17 but this like I said is 13.9 so I reviewed it a few years a couple of years ago about two years ago and um, actually it might have been only a year ago but it was good I had the full size bottle the uh, 750 milliliter was $8.99 at Aldi and I think it's still $8.99 uh, but um, I did the uh, original, kind of a Bailey's Mimic, but like I say, wine-based. And the uh, salted caramel, I believe, was $9.99, and then the strawberry was $8.99. I know they're all $8.99 right now at Aldi, those three flavors. That's the main flavors you'll get in the $7.50. And then I just stumbled upon this pack. Now, of course, it didn't last. I went back a couple of days, and it was gone. I, I know it was probably gone an hour after I bought it. And it was the 12 days of Irish cream, so it was probably something to do with uh, the 12 days of Christmas. Probably came out the last week or so of 2023. And they had some leftovers that they just sold them probably for half price. Now, if I can untwist this cap, I'll be happy. Sometimes you can't get a grip on these things. That There it goes. I caught it. Beautiful plastic bottle. Now, the regular bottles are, are glass. Okay, so it's not artificial coloring. Remember, it's radish juice. <laughs> and I like radishes, not to say that I ever eat them much. They're good in a salad. All right. Uh, yeah, you get some other wine-based products. We get um, Gloria. Those pre-packaged uh, margarita mixes. There is a cream one. There are three creams, but they're wine-based, 13.9. We have the um, Chi Chi's in the small bottles, 100 milliliters. They're they're wine-based. In the big bottles, they're liquor-based. Uh, Buzz Ball, same thing. Big bottle, liquor-based. Small bottle, wine-based. Uh, don't know the reason. Something to probably do with state regulations about convenience store sales which wouldn't really pertain to Louisiana. Um, there's that one from Texas. Pe same people that make Buzz Ball, they have the big frosted glass bottles, and they're wine-based. All right, they're pretty good. They're not quite as good as the liquor base. That's the way I feel about it. But, you know, they're all right. They're, they're usually using a neutral liquor, more or less. Uh, whiskey that's mostly a neutral flavor. They want the flavor to come from the banana, the cream, the strawberry, whatever they're using. Um, and if it's wine based, I guess they're using a basically non flavor, you know, a, a wine, a grape wine that's filtered down to where it's got basically no flavor. And the same thing with the flavored malt beverage beers, beer based cocktails like Smirnoff Ice. They don't want the beer to have any flavor. They just have to have a base, an alcohol base to build upon. So it's creamy looking, strawberry colored. Um, 
this went well in coffee like I would pour a little bit at the bottom of the coffee cup coffee mug pour the black coffee on top it came out all right <sighs> although I have to say now thinking back on all the ones I've had the best thing for the coffee was the Evan Williams eggnog it was so thick the coffee would just like settle on the top it could never penetrate it it's almost like a pudding, which some people would be turned off by, but I, I thought it was really good. Yeah, strawberry. It's like strawberry and vanilla ice cream, honestly. Yeah. Strawberry cream. There's tequila-based strawberry and cream. It tastes basically like this. They're, they're going to run about 17% alcohol. There's the um, Pennsylvania Dutch peaches and cream. I'm sorry, there, well, there is that. There's strawberry and cream, very sweet like this one. These are like five out of five sugar cubes. Uh, no bitterness. The Pennsylvania Dutch is like a vodka-based that strawberry and cream. Yeah, no problem. Um, I don't know how a person could tolerate drinking too many of these in a week because uh, of the sugar content. But the quality control is very good. I mean, everything I've ever had from Mary and company is exceptionally good. So this is another A, say 94 out of 100, 9.4 out, out of 10. Um, like I say, good coffee base. So I just bought the, the 12 pack just to try the different flavors. They'll both, they'll both. <laughs> they'll, all 12 will be similar in the sense that they'll be creamy, have the same wine base, like a neutral thing I said. And uh, they'll be very sugary, and then you'll just get little subtle differences on uh, whatever flavor it is. Put a little cinnamon on this. That's the rest of it. You want these definitely cold. Don't drink them at room temperature. You don't have to put them in the freezer, but put them in the fridge overnight. Say, probably be good to give them 24 hours. Cinnamon may not enhance it. Certainly doesn't hurt it. Just gives it a different aspect. I like the cinnamon. Now, what I like to try nutmeg next time. Uh, try. Uh, another canister of spices yes I would but it might be 10 years before I get to it at the rate this is going so laissez les bon temps relay the most excellent product check out your local Aldi assuming your Aldi sells beer wine and liquor um, <clears throat> beer and wine like here uh, they're bringing in so many different ciders uh, I, I, I'm not too much for cider. They taste like apple juice to me, but uh, if you're into that, there's so many, so many right now. It's a, me, it's a it, it really is amazing. And, uh, a lot of European mulled wines, all of which have been good. Trader Joe's now, if I drive 30, yeah, 30 miles, 28 miles to their location close to New Orleans, I can get liquor but I'm working through the liquors I bought in 2022 and the next one up is the uh, Trader Joe's Highland single malt scotch whiskey aged 10 years Let's see how that does uh, the eight-year age Speyside tasted good on its own on its own but when I put it into competition it just got destroyed And that would be a good question. How would this wine-based Irish cream hold up against uh, liquor-based? It would probably fail. <clears throat> you know, like I'm drinking this and not in a comparative sense, so it's good. But if I put it up against whiskey-based, like Carolyn's and Bailey's and Ryan's, 
uh, or the Mary that I have seen around here, not too much, or McCormick, I know they make them. Yeah, it probably would bomb, you know. But since I never did that comparison, I can't say for sure, but I get that feeling. But anyway, so on its own merit, 9.4 out of 10, a yummy product. And I'm gonna end this review by saying y'all go to Ireland and take a Mary Irish Cream Distillery Concoction Production Facility Tour.